Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today is day six of seven days and seven duels where I test out seven different foundation and concealer duels for seven days straight. We've had some good ones and some not so good ones. So with that being said, today we'll be reviewing the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation as well as its matching concealer. If you're interested in seeing how that wears on my dry skin, then just keep on watching. Jumping right into the foundation notes, I bought it at Ulta for $16.99. It comes in 18 different shades. I have it in the shade Nude L3, and it's described as a hydrating, light to medium, buildable coverage foundation with a formula that doesn't settle into fine lines. And for the concealer, I bought it for $11.99. It comes in 12 different shades, and I have it in the shade Vanilla. It's described as a lightweight hydrating formula with medium to buildable coverage that contains shea butter to smooth out fine lines and plump. So let's jump right into the application. All right, so let's do two pumps. I think that should be good enough there. I think I have some pretty good shade matches this time, but we shall see. All right, and let's go in with the concealer a little bit here. Yeah, I'm thinking this, this these two shades will work out perfectly. All right, I got my new sponge from Wet n Wild. <laughs> let's blend this all in and see what kind of coverage we get here. Staying home when you're working late again. Quiet phone, it's already 10 p.m. This is new, getting used to missing you. Been a while, usually. Okay, we're so, so I think we got a good medium coverage going on for both products. It does kind of look like it's sitting on top of the skin. It doesn't look quite one with the skin, so that's interesting. It doesn't look bad, but you can definitely see that I'm wearing foundation because you can see like that that layer, I guess, um, doesn't look quite one with the skin. Um, but let's go ahead and try to build the concealer. See what we get here. I'm happy with the coverage we got from the foundation. Let's see, maybe... Just a little bit more of the concealer. Ooh, you got me. Ooh, wishing we could be on the same page, but I know this okay, is. I think they gave us a little bit more coverage underneath the eyes there. Um, but let's go ahead and throw on the rest of the makeup and see how we're looking. Be right back. Okay, now that the rest of the makeup is on, this is how we are looking. I thought it would be a good shade match. Um, turns out it's a little bit too light for me. I probably could have gone a shade or two up. So I definitely had to warm it up with some bronzer. I'm wearing my Physicians Formula Matte Manoi Bronzer as well as my Rare Beauty Blush in Virtue, my Cali Ray Highlight in Starlight Beach. And on the lips, I'm wearing my Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink in the shade Citrine Queen. Um, couple things with this foundation I noticed. It's looking a little bit heavy around the nose here and around the chin area all down here a little bit dry right here in the center um the under eyes are definitely very very creasy i set both of them i thought i liked the look of them set uh it's looking a little bit iffy <laughs> right about now um however the rest of the makeup went on pretty well no complaints at all pretty smoothly the forehead looks pretty good um, but let's see how we're looking in four hours. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been four hours. Did my hair a little bit and took a look in the mirror and I'm not happy at all. The nose area is looking so heavy. I hope you guys can see like right here. Looking so bad. The chin as well. This whole area down here, especially in the center. It's looking so dry, so heavy not good at all my under eyes are looking nice and dry and greasy 
I probably shouldn't have set both. That was my mistake. Should have left one untouched. Um, but I'm not liking it at all. The makeup over here I feel like is wearing off a little bit. And over here as well. I'm just not happy. <laughs> and I have dinner to go to later. It's my son's birthday. And I don't want to wear this. So I'm sorry to disappoint. But I'm going to take it off and redo my makeup with some foundation and concealer that I love and I trust because this is looking awful. Um, maybe I need to exfoliate, maybe I need to hydrate better. I mean, it is a serum foundation that's supposed to be hydrating, so I assumed that it should be fine. But yeah, yeah, it's not looking, it's not looking too good for me. There will not be an eight hour check-in. Once again, I'm sorry, but I will not go throughout my day looking like this. I'm not happy at all. So, unfortunately, I will not be recommending this product. Maybe if you have oily skin, you'll like this better. Or if you just exfoliated your dry patches and you have nothing but baby smooth skin, maybe this will work better for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I will see you tomorrow with day seven. Bye.